Uh, sir? Yes. Welcome to Malwart. How may I help you? Hi, I'm good. I'm looking for the electronics section. Sure, we're actually in the electronics section. Anything okay, I, can I need help three you with iPads right now. Thank you. Oh, okay, sure. Just one second. Let me. No, you don't need a second. Are. I told you I came in. I told you what I needed. I need three iPads right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. I'm going to get no, you taken sir, care of. No, sir, I am here on Thanksgiving Day away I, from I my am family. Too. Yeah. So that I can come in and get these three iPads for my three little boys for no, Christmas definitely. morning. Sure. No, definitely. I got you taken care of. Give me one second. Sir. You don't need a second. I looked at the pricing online. I know, guys, I know what you have. You have it in stock. I'm uh -huh. coming in. I'm telling you what I need. Just no. go get me my three iPads. Yeah, I'm going to get them. Give me one more. Sir, my husband is back carving the well, turkey. Just one I second. I left my a, family at home. Coming. I am here right now. I took out of my Thanksgiving holiday but it's time coming, it's to come up, here yeah, don't and worry. to give you oh. guys business. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still looking. I'm sorry, sorry do I have to okay. do your job for you? I know what I need. Go get my three iPads, swipe my credit card, and let me go. Okay, are you done? Are you good? Sir, are I hate dealing with such ignorant people. Ugh. I come in here, I tell them how to do their job. I'm here on Thanksgiving Day. Exactly! Why are you even here? Ma'am? Lady? It's Thanksgiving freaking day. You know what? My grandmother is making me turkey necks right now. Okay. okay? All five of my baby mamas are all in the same house waiting for me. It's the only day of the year we can come together and eat a meal like a real family. Yeah. And you know what I'm doing? I'm sitting here listening to you grind me out about your little snotty nose, bright kids that want some iPads. Ooh! While they pay me like less than half a penny to be here. Okay? All right? Okay. I don't have to take this. In fact, I think I will make more money selling myself. Sir, I don't know. No, I think I'm going to sell myself. Sir, I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure I'm going to. Why are you talking to me? Okay, okay. I'm going to sell myself. Okay. That is my decision. I Forget you, Marwart. Okay, as Mike goes and sells himself, We'll be right back with more On the Level with Mike and Holly. All I'm saying is this world. This, this is what I'm saying right here. We do not celebrate sexual molestation or pedophile. Pedophile. Looking forward, got my head up. You are so, so out I'm going to go with a straight up Chris Brown. Okay. 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 I'm looking forward. And we are back on the level with Mike and Holly. I'm Holly. That's good. And I'm Mike. And we wanted to talk a little bit about our show opener, retailers opening their doors on Thanksgiving Day. What is up with calling people into work on a holiday? I don't get it. I don't understand. And you know what? The thing is, is it's getting earlier and earlier and earlier. Black Friday is oozing on over. No, it started at like the wee hours of the morning, right? Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, like 4 a.m. people come in and then it creeped to like midnight. <laughs> Best and Buy. Then, right. And then it creeped Best Buy. It started opening. I think they're still opening at midnight this year. And then it creeped to like... Tar Stores like Target and Toys R Us and Sears, mm -hmm. they're doing 9 p.m. But the trump of them all right. is that Walmart right. opening their doors at 8 o'clock at night. Exactly. It's like, thank you for everything that we have. Right. Let's go and get more. Let's go and get more. Oh, we're just so thankful for our family. It's just so great for you right. guys to be here. Uh, but we better wrap this crap no, up because I'm trying to go get my sale. Lord, thank you for all the things that you've provided. We oh, greatly just, yes, appreciate God, so, all of your provision, the you are food so good, God. that you've given us. We thank love you, you Jesus. Could you TVs just, yes, that you thank gave you. Us last year on Black we just, Friday. we just love you. Yes, family is so good. Um, we want to thank you for. Yes, family time is so good. We love this. We okay, and off. amen. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, so, Black Friday. Yeah, eat the car. We have to-go right. containers. Let's, Let's wrap it up, ahead. kids. Yeah, Grab round them up. Let's go. Go buy some things. And that's that's what our holiday has become here in the states. It is laughable. It really it's is. It's actually laughable. It's a day that we were supposed to have set aside so yeah. we could spend some time with the family. And it used to be 
back in the in the day. Right, in the day. Maybe not in my day. Maybe not. Maybe. Or mine. <laughs> right, really? Maybe, maybe back in like our grandparents' day. Somebody's maybe day. Maybe our parents' <laughs> earlier days. It was set up so that people would go shopping two days early. Right. And they would get all the stuff that they would need. They would gas up the car. Right. And because everything would be shut down. It would be like you wouldn't crickets. be able to access anything. And it's it's the the corporate structure of the U.S. that has changed. It would be like course. ghost town. Like, I remember you had to get all your ingredients at the grocery mm -hmm. store, exactly. like the day before. Right. Now, it's like, what you need? We're open. Mm -hmm. And they lure us with that double time. Like, oh, oh, I'm making $8.50 an hour. Pay me $17 an hour, and I'm going to be there for an extra. But wait. <laughs> Can Black Friday be Black I mean, Friday and Thanksgiving be Thanksgiving? That's only like an extra couple hundred bucks. If that, it really, it's oh not, no, but it's like that's, that but when you put it like that. No, there's no, not that much money. No, I will be with my family. <laughs> I will be with my it's family. It ain't that, money. it ain't that important. It's not that crucial. Okay, so. We have some, uh, there's some serious issues going on in the Middle East right now. Very serious issues. Very sad. Uh, Gaza Strip has been bombed right. uh, several times. Uh, there was a, a bus that blew up, I think, just today. Or, or, I know. Uh, I, I or read sometime her recently. Anyway, it appears, though, that uh, Clinton, I believe Hillary Clinton, uh -huh. has gone overseas and they've actually resolved the, the war on both, or the, the bombing. Like resolution? Sides. There's been resolution reached in the Middle East. Both sides have agreed to cease fire. Uh, can we say end times? Like, like, if you're not right with Jesus, <laughs> now's the time. Like I would, like I would get right. Right now, yeah. is the time. <laughs> now is the time. Like, like if you need to call in and maybe like we lead you. Maybe we need some prayer. Three step program. Tweet us at OT level and we will right. get you hooked up. We will pray for you because the time is now. It's winding up. It is winding up. It so is crazy. That blew my mind when I read the article that hi highlighted that they both come to an agreement of yeah. ceasefire. I don't, I didn't read all the details of the yeah. agreement, but that interests me. I want to know what happened because all I knew is one one day Hamas was bombing Israel and Israel was bombing back and yes, it, it was uh, this cluster Terrible of mess. stories. I mean, children and, and everyone in the way. I read a story of, a, of someone being drugged behind a motorcycle that was dead. And, and what got me was not, I mean, I'm sure there are tons of horrific stories out there, but what got me was the fact that the eyewitness in the, in the story, the eyewitness that reported to authorities and to the media was a 13 year old boy that, that gave the account. Wow. I have a 12 year old brother. Mm -hmm. If, you know, if that was his life and he saw someone being pulled behind a motorcycle. That's rough. I mean. Yeah, and on, on that note, Taking a dip back into history and on, on some other tragedies that had occurred, yeah. uh, back in 1999, I know we all remember Columbine. I can't believe that's been a decade. Uh, more than a decade. More than a decade. More than a decade. I was actually in junior high when Columbine happened. That's crazy. And I remember that. I remember the day where everybody just kind of shut everything down. Right. Schools all across the country just kind of shut down a little bit. Security went up. Everyone was nervous. Exactly. It was, it was pretty crucial. And just recently, the mother... Uh, yeah. One of the Columbine killers, the mass murderers, yeah. just came forward. And you, you had been kind of reading over the story. Yeah, I, I read an that. article, and apparently <laughs> um, it came out that, I don't remember the details, but back during that time, she admitted that she found out what was happening and that her son was in this school and he was killing people. And she admitted, admitted that she prayed that he would kill himself so uh -huh. that it would end. And, and apparently she was afraid that if he uh, got caught, he would be put into the system and that they would, authorities would either lock him up or they would kill him. And she wanted to know for certain in her heart that he wanted to die. And my question is, I mean, and I, and I don't want to give judgment because she did admit that she's carried around this guilt mm -hmm. for so long. But I, I mean, my question is, if, if you're going to send out a prayer, I mean, really, are, are we going to pray that our children commit suicide? You know, I mean, why, you know, why aren't we praying that, that it just end right. in, in general? I understand that as well. Uh, and <laughs> I don't know how this is going to sound. My perspective on this situation is, this is going to sound real bad. Get on the level. Right. I'm, I'm going to be on the level. My thing is, ma'am, <laughs> that's kind of selfish. 
yeah. from my perspective, when I, when I went over the story and reviewed it, she's wishing or praying that her son kills himself, commits suicide, yeah. so that he doesn't have to endure prison and or doesn't punishment. have to, right, experience but the it, punishment but associated all with his negative actions. But he chose to do that, and you're, you're praying basically that he has an easy out. Right from taking responsibility and owning what he's done, at what point does your heart break for those that are going to need some healing? I'm sure that, that she did. We want to see him brought to justice, not take the easy road out, so to speak. And I, I know it's not an easy road, and I know it's a sticky situation, and it's a, a gray area, I guess, if you call an area that. But, I mean, I, seriously, I mean, I just, agree. to me, it came off as very selfish. I understand, ma'am, you know, you're in pain as well because the son that you raised is is doing, perpetuating these acts. But hindsight is twenty twenty. I mean, if your child and you have no, uh, you're not suspecting that he's having these emotional issues and he goes in and he shoots up a school, I mean, come on, like, what do you do on game day? I mean, what kind of decision do you make? And, I mean, I know, I mean, she had to be under tremendous pressure. Uh, I get it. You know, <laughs> and, 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 I feel for her actually now because we all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's easy to look at her and to pass judgment, but we all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine the tremendous amount of guilt and shame that she carries. Right. I understand. Because she wished that her husband, that her that her son would die and, and he did. Right. Well, either way, that's kind of a hard thing. We're gonna go to break right quick and then we're gonna be right back with some more talk on the AMAs a little bit lighter. We're gonna lighten this thing up. Yeah, let's lighten a it up. Bit, all right. We'll see you in a bit. Was that Bring us back. Hey guys, welcome back. You're watching On the Level with Mike and Holly. Mike. I'm Mike. And I'm still Holly. <laughs> and we want to take it a little lighter. We want to talk about the AMAs. A little bit lighter. And we want to start off with none other than the legendary and my personal favorite. Surprise, surprise. Brandy in that red carpet outfit. That Look at that. Mike, she didn't even perform. She looked, And you're talking about how she stole the show. She didn't have to perform. Look I realized that. She looked that. amazing. No, actually, I will give it to you. I actually applaud Brandy. I love that outfit, actually. Because, I mean, she no, because she was sexy, and it was it was funky, it, it was, was cool, but it was modest. She, she had long not. sleeves. She had, like, she had some tights on. It was, like, it was fun. It was great. She didn't have mm -hmm. to be all hanging out. Right. I loved it. She was like, my goodies. She was, <laughs> yes, yeah, she was like, I can rock oh. it and I can be covered up. <laughs> exactly. It was good. And the hair was really classy. It was really classy. Her, her, her choice for, for a, a hairstyle was very classy. You whole know, look I'm, I'm going to give it to her. I really, really I loved her look. Now, not so modest. Now, granted, I love the girl. Homegirl can sing. Pink and she is put, one of the best vocalists that are out there. Speaking of, right. you know, great vocalists. Great vocalists. Brandy. <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> drop it again. No, Pink is so great, and um, and I loved her performance. It was like this like drama musical right. number. But my mama was so funny because like I. Well, wait, can we talk? Can we can we talk about the performance? Just oh yeah, bit. the performance. Like right quick, when you get two people on stage that look the, <laughs> that look the way that Pink like, and whoever she was dancing with like look, no doubt in our mind like clearly they can get up in on stage. Shape. They could like. Oh my goodness, no! I have. They could like sway and do pity pat, or just like. They could, and they are. And like, it was just gonna be hot. Like, it didn't matter ripped. what they. They did. are ripped, but you guys, <laughs> you, you saw that picture a second ago, and I actually I hadn't watched the AMAs yet, and my mama calls me and she talks to me, and she goes. Yeah, Holly, I'm just, I'm watching the AMAs right now, and, you know, it's really good. Pink, she's such a good singer, mm -hmm. but Holly, I don't know. She was dancing with this male partner, <laughs> and she goes, I got kind of offended. I mean, Holly, she, I, it was kind of provocative. Holly, she spread her legs wide open on the serious? screen. Yes, and I was just like, Mama, yeah, I mean, like, they're doing that. But she goes, Holly, she was just on top of it. And <laughs> she just thing. she just spread her legs wide open on top of that man. And I was like, Mama, oh, my gosh. So that picture, I mean, homegirl has her splits, like, on it, like, in shape. Like, Ooh. she is, like, she's, yeah, she's for real. But my mama, she was a little offended at that. Wow. So, okay. yeah, I had to bring it back for her. I don't... <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know whether to be encouraged that there are still people with a moral compass 
<laughs> my mom, I know she was so sweet. She was like, it was just so to provocative. Be that it was, yeah. Yeah, she was. It's a little okay. Well, now, but that's okay. A good thing. But now, okay. So Pink's performance was mm -hmm. kind of it was it was over the top. It was dramatic. Now, my other girl Kelly Clarkson, Casey. she pretty much just held a mic, the but she can do that. She did it. She, she did, did it do well. that. She executed. She did it very, very well. well. She sang very well. I love her. Mm -hmm. And can we just talk about the fact that she has a greatest hits album coming out? Yeah, let's talk about the fact that she has a greatest hits album. I'm wondering at what point is it acceptable for you to make a greatest hits album? Like Kelly Clarkson, you just came out yesterday. No, well, okay. <laughs> no, I mean we understand that. We mm -hmm. understand. But here's here's my point of view. And actually, like in the media, she's been asked this question. Right. And they're like, they approached her. And she has a really good comeback for it. Yes, I, I mean they they approached her and they were she was like, really? Like, I mean I'm 30, like to do a greatest hits. But I mean, the fact is she's 30 years old and has enough hits to create a greatest hits album. That's very true as well. That's very true. And I have to give that to her. You and she has a few new songs on the album. Argue, you can't argue with the fact that the girl has been in the industry for about 10 years now, and over those 10 years, she she's has been some killing crazy. it. She's had some hits. She's been killing it, which is good. I'm excited for her. She has, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that she has that type of repertoire. Right. I'm thinking, you know, Mariah Carey, greatest hits, Understandable. Brandy, even. Sp speaking of greatest hits, I just want to throw this out there. I know people are sick of me, but for real, Brandy actually just celebrated the 18th anniversary of I actually I heard that, yeah. Be down. Yes. Can you believe that? It's she been did. 18 years. Dude, I feel old. And she is still making the good music. She's, st she's still doing she's very still, well. She's killing it. But 18 years, I was looking at a picture of her 18 years ago doing the video for I Want to Be Down. Yeah. And then I saw the picture of her recently, and of course, her at the grant uh, at the AMAs uh -huh. and still looks I'm good. Ju I'm just saying, <laughs> homegirl, homegirl ain't cracking a, like at all. Yeah, homegirl looks good. She did. She's rocking it. She's so rocking it another good. another young fella that stole the show. Mm -hmm. Do we think that our that our Justin Bieber can have a greatest hits at one at I one point? I have no comment. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. I actually, like, as long as you love me, like that little acoustic set that he did, I was feeling it. Mm -hmm. Like, I felt like he was about to cry. I'm sorry. He was just really emotional in it. And I was like, man, like, am I'm I feeling sure. this song this much right now? Well, I heard like him and Selena, you know, having some issues. Are you serious? I, well, I don't know. As though we How thought- How old am I? How old am I? Did we really expect I? for them to grow old together? I don't know. This Somebody's got to Hollywood these days. No. I know. Ooh, regular people. I don't know, but actually, no, the, I do have a comment, because one of the things that he did was, and it's kind of in the news that people talked about, is mm -hmm. that he thanked all his haters right. that didn't think that he would be there at that point, that didn't right. think that he would last. Which is really great. I think that's a perfect ground for making the greatest hits album. It could. He should do it. It could. He should make a greatest hits album to do nothing more than to spite his haters. Exactly. But actually, <laughs> I do kind of have something to say about that. I mean, I think that if you have the platform, like, don't give it to your haters. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, they know you made it. Like, don't give it the time of day to even address it. It's like, let that be. Just but make you know a greatest what? hits album. Just make a greatest hits <laughs> album Just and show hit. them. Be like, booyah. Be like, bam. <laughs> greatest hits. Boom. I've only had a music career for two years, but I have bam. a greatest hits album. But I have Boom. some greatest hits. Talk <laughs> about it. Remix. Exactly. It's good. No, actually, really exciting for you and I. Mm -hmm. One of the best things about this AMAs is that Mike and I both had a personal connection. Pers like extra personal. Well, extra personal. Not extra personal. Well, I mean, like, we knew somebody. <laughs> <laughs> like, we didn't know somebody that knew somebody. We knew somebody. No, we knew, like, directly. We directly. knew directly. And so, like, my person, so I actually. They my, were singing in the background. They sang. Back up. Like, my, sure. I want to give a shout out to my cousin, Andrea Thomas. She sang back up for Carrie Which Underwood. One is she? She's the blonde. In, well, both uh, with the, blonde. in the forefront. In the forefront. With her hair, with her blonde hair on the side. She's okay. in the forefront. She's on the right of the Screen. Yeah, she's on okay. the right of the screen. Got you. And uh, yeah, she sang back up for Carrie Underwood, and I was so proud of her. And that's I was good. like, that's my girl, that's my girl. I mean, they gave her like this much airtime. BT but Dub still. Love Carrie Underwood. Carrie, she's beautiful. Uh, she's beautiful. Homegirl can sing. Yeah. She took can a sing. Louisville sledge of both headlights. And you know what's so funny is she that's does good. so good at these like man hating songs. <laughs> 
<laughs> but just, does any girl have a more perfect life than Carrie Underwood? Like, I don't know. I know that, like, from a distance, it looks like it's, like, bliss Every or whatever. Every now and again, she just needs to tear up somebody's car. And I feel Every that. now and then. She's mm -hmm. got some built-up anger. But, like, yeah. homegirl, I mean, she has her little perfect husband. Dude. She has her little, like, her perfect career. Dude. Like, she's, like, one best artist of the year, like, multiple she's times. She's had, like, a little gospel run that went really she well. Gives, oh, she, she let Jesus take the wheel. She let Jesus take the wheel? <laughs> she let him take the wheel. She let, she let him, him take have the wheel. that thing. She let you him know? have it. So every now and again, She was like, babe, I don't want to drive no more. Dude, take let my Jesus wheel. take the wheel. <laughs> then, then afterwards, if you need to like bust the car up to get the husband together, hey, yeah. you know what? Gonna judge I tried you. letting Jesus take the wheel, but you know what? Sometimes I just want to bust somebody's no. car. No, I let, <laughs> I let Jesus take the wheel, but as soon as we put that mug in park though, and you started acting up. I'm going to bust I'm, the window. I'm a I'm a Jasmine Sullivan <laughs> all over Bust your the windows ride. out them cars, man. I'm telling you. You got 10 seconds to leave. You got 10 seconds to No, and shout out to my home girl. Yeah, who'd you know? I knew Keisha Renee. Snap. Who sang for, and we're going to forgive her for this, okay? Oh, wait. No judgment. <laughs> no, no judgment on the level, but she sang with Nicki Minaj. She sang with That's Nicki. That's my girl. And what was so funny is I didn't even know that she was singing on the AMAs. I know. Until we were watching the we AMAs were watching it. and just kind of going over the show. And I was like, who? She who is that, tearing it up. Who is that <laughs> black girl singing right now? And so I look at the TV and I look at Holly, I'm like, I, I, know, I know her. I know. It like, was crazy. And it wasn't that I have met her once before. No. Like, you I know her. Really like, know. legit. I hit her up and I was like, Keisha, why didn't you tell me that she was going to be on the AMAs? Like, I and she tore it up. I'm telling you, she sang that song. The girl is amazing. She has been uh, in Jill's uh, singing background for Jill Scott. Yeah. Adam Lampert, she was actually in Jill Scott's music video. Uh, so she had a little feature role in. Yeah. She, I, I mean, she, I'm hoping it. that we can get both of our hookups on the show. Right. We've already kind of reached out to them, so we're going to continue to reach. Continue to reach. Please. Uh, please come to On the you. Level with <laughs> Mike and Holly. <laughs> yeah, so they've already kind of expressed interest, and we're, we're excited about that. They are. Yeah. We're really excited about it. Right. I think we will go to a break right quick. Take a break. And we're going to come back and kind of discuss a little bit of our trending topic. We'll be right back on The Level with Mike and Holly. And we're back. Hey guys, welcome back. You're watching On the Level with Mike and Holly, and we have our Star Watch guest here, Kai Kayam. Yes, you are our Star Watch. You are our star to watch out for. And okay, he's going to so key in on our trending topic of the day. Right. First, speaking of trending, I just want to talk about this black and white getup that's happening. Like, he's rocking this black and white right now. Right. There's black and white all over the sofa right now. Well, Pretty much know. all over the sofa. <laughs> right. There's all a lot of black and white all over the sofa. There's black and white. 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 He is both black and white right? and rocking the black and the white suit. So, okay. Okay, and, so and it's uh, about the threads. Oreo. Let's, yeah. Oreo. <laughs> about the Straight threads Oreo. that you have on, it, it's a perfect segue into our retail-focused society. Yes. Uh, that's, our, that's our topic for the day, our trending mm -hmm. topic. We're just kind of focused on whether or not Thanksgiving is a real holiday right now, or is it a marketing scheme? What, you you it know, like? it's, uh, it, it really just depends on how you look at it. Uh, I think that sometimes we need things. We need, unfortunately, I think we live in a society where we're not really thankful unless something negative happens. I was talking mm. to a friend of mine that um, was, we were doing a, a business transaction, and the business transaction had a date that was due within by last week. Well, in the middle of that, mm -hmm. his wife found out that uh, the doctors wanted to test her for cancer. Well, thanks be to God, the test came back negative. But, that ha but the test came back negative as of yesterday. So now tomorrow for Thanksgiving, for him, it means something totally different. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, he's not worried about a Black Friday because, of mm -hmm. because his Tuesday was pretty black when he found out his wife might, might have cancer, I think. And I think you and I were talking about we that at breakfast yeah. today. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that, um, you know, unfortunately, human nature is we forget, we forget what it's like to go through something until we go through something. Right. And until so, you lose it. And Thanksgiving is every now and then needs to be reminded of what we're, you know, grateful for. Like, for example, I'm thankful for simple stuff, like having a thermostat, you know, being able to control the temperature of my own Right, because I just came back from Africa. I yeah. went to Ghana, West Africa over yeah. the summer. No kind of thermostat. And, well, no, they have, <laughs> they have some AC over there, but I mean, it's not the same. Yes, It's yes. not the same here. And I have been a sucker for my AC, 
But when the power goes out on a regular basis, that kind of changes the game. Sure. And one of the things that I feel, I just want to touch on this right quick. Uh, I know we don't have long, but I want to touch on the fact a few years ago, we had Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. And the city has come back full force mm -hmm. in terms of profitability. Mm -hmm. And I guess we equate the success in, in terms of prosperity mm -hmm. for the city. Instead of success being, wow, if this happens again, are we prepared? Now we have Hurricane Sandy. Mm -hmm. And people have been up in arms about that. Yeah. When what we really should have been focused on as a country, as a unit, is kind of preparing for things like that. How can we help? How can we give? How can we lend out? Sure, sure. And I, I think, touching back on our topic and, and bringing this thing back home, yeah. that's really what the holiday is supposed to be about. And as a country, I feel we might be losing that. And you know, it's, 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 it's actually interesting that you say that because as, you, as you're speaking, I think that, that the sensationalism of shopping and all of that mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. not evil. You know, no. right. money money is absolutely nebulous. It doesn't do anything. It actually is a means of transfer. Right. So the actual dollar bill doesn't mean anything. Right. It's the heart and the motivation exactly. behind it. Right. Exactly. And I'm in because we're pushing for we want to have, of course, a large worldwide audience. So we're gonna talk to some of the other people in other countries. We understand, I understand, Holly understands that there are other people in other countries that will be so thankful for the minimum that we have. Amen. And as a country, as, as, as citizens of the United States of America, guys, I think that maybe we should just consider doing a little bit better a job being thankful for the little bit that we have. Uh, when we have family mm -hmm. and, and clothes and food and shelter and we have just that, that's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, Mike. People get ashamed. But not of condemning ourselves. Not, not condemning. We're wanting yeah, to not at not all. Life. Yeah, not if we all. have extra, I mean, that's great. You know, um, one of the things, in short, that actually changed my life was I was looking at Pastor Joel Osteen. He was yeah. on The View one day, and he was talking about his new book. The, the, the book was entitled Becoming a Better You. And he inspired a song that I wrote that's actually on the new album that we'll talk about. Okay. Um, it's called Be Positive. But basically what, what he was talking about, the book was dealing with finding a reason to be thankful. And Barbara Walters kind of went after him. She said, you know, so if you're telling me that if I've been homeless or if I just got a divorce or if I just had X, Y, and Z happen to me that I yeah. should be ha happy or that I should be in a thankful spirit. He said, no, the object is not to be thankful for those things, but mm -hmm. to find something to be thankful for. Right. He says, if those things have happened to you, perhaps you could be thankful that you're alive still. Or perhaps you could be thankful that you're in a free country. Or perhaps you could be thankful that you're able to watch this show, mm -hmm. you know, without an IV in your arm. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I feel it's like just, human instinct uh, is we go to the negative right. yes. instantly. And mm -hmm. so yeah. automatically we're going to focus on what's not right in our lives. Well, we as a culture have a victimized um, uh, mentality, which is we feel like we did whatever we didn't get, we use whatever we didn't get and who didn't give it to us as an excuse to do what we shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Right. right. But those <laughs> principles, those principles yeah. that you were speaking of, of finding things Thanks in your own life. I've applied them in my own life. And when I start to kind of think about X, Y, and Z that's mm -hmm. not going my way, mm -hmm. and then I flip the script and I'm like, you know what? No, I'm thankful for this. I'm right. thankful for this. I'm thankful for this. My mood will turn around and hope will come and joy will come. And you know what? I'm so glad that you said that because um, one of the things that you and I were talking about, and I just love how this conversation was going, is right. that um, whenever you ask God for something, there is, or whenever you, you know, whether you're spiritual or not, or Whenever you want something, you it's must okay. count up the It's okay. We can say Jesus count. on the show. Good deal. It's yeah, okay. We can say Jesus. Right, we can say God. Tell, I love him. Jesus. I love him a lot. I, I was just about to tell our viewing audience. I love him a lot. At the end of the day, I'm thankful for the death, burial, burial and, and, the and the resurrection. And the resurrection. Oh, that triple threat. He's my J-Love. Like, uh, right. Absolutely. That's what's up. He's your what? He's my J-Love. J-Love. <laughs> That's good. I love it. Jesus um, with anything that you get in life comes the maintenance of that thing. If you, I was telling you today that even if you get a new car, when you get the new car, yes, you got the car. Hallelujah, great. Especially if you haven't, a, especially if you haven't had a car, if you've been riding on a bike or riding the bus or everything, because yeah. in Houston, that's a big in deal. Houston, yeah. Right. But when you get the car, check this out. You've got the maintenance. You've got the insurance. Mm. You've got to put the gas. You've got to change the oils. Do you know how much your tires cost? Do you know how much it would cost to to replace your transmission? Mm -hmm. All these things are the maintenance of the thing. And when you prayed for perhaps the thing that you asked God for, yeah, did you consider the maintenance? And right. that could that could be considered in a relationship. 
relationships, that can be considered in finances, that Career. can be considered with careers and with jobs, with the, with the puppy. Yes, he's right. cute, but are you ready for your sofa to there, have a yellow ring around things, the bottom of it? There are things that come <laughs> along yeah. with those goals that we have yeah. monetarily and materially. Yeah. And that's, that's something to be considered. Um, no. Transitioning. Yeah, from, no, that's really that. good. So any of these beliefs and, and topics that you like to share, is any of this on your album? Exactly. Or yes, actually, actually is. This album is actually, I've been uh, singing uh, for all my life since I was three years old, and that's been at least a couple of decades now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but this album, I'm really excited about it because I was raised in church, and uh, my, my grandfather pastored for 58 years, and my yeah. mother pastored, and I pastored actually for five years in, 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 in Michigan. Uh, being a Texan now for uh, 20 plus years, I've uh, been in ministry in all my life, but um, my mom was a, a great woman. She was just uh, so exposed to music, and mm -hmm. we would do chores, uh, Mike, on Saturdays, and part of our chores, no, every, really? every Saturday we do our chores. Baseboards? Oh, every, everything. <laughs> Matter of fact, it wasn't, you know, we couldn't vacuum without moving the couch. You had to move the couch. That was clean. I'm sorry, house. we had a Maria. What is that? Is that my bad. <laughs> no, we're totally not a we're, we're on the level. We're, we're, oh, we're, we're, we're Mike and Holly, y'all. Did I say I love Jesus? <laughs> Can we go back to that? Can we go Great. back to that? But anyways, part of that growing up, I grew up listening to. <laughs> she's so crazy. I grew up listening to uh, on those Bring on those back. Saturday mornings. I'm I grew sorry. up listening to uh, the Donny Hathaways, the Stevie Wonders, the, yes. you know, the Roberta Flax. You know yes. what some people would consider real music. And as a result of that, growing up in the church and listening to that on Saturdays and at home throughout the week, I grew a just insatiable appetite for for, for music and for quality music. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, I'm really proud to say that this is my third album and probably the most impactful album because it's taken. Awesome. 12 years. Wow. So it's a double CD. It's called The Confessions of a Man. And uh, part one CD deals with love confessions, which is my basically um, vertical relationship. And that is between my, you know, the loves of my life, you know, my wife, my children, and, mm -hmm. and those people that I, that I deal with on that. And so with that, I've written about six or seven songs of that. And then I went back and paid tribute to uh, some of the greats that I listened mm -hmm. to. Luther Vandross, Donny Hathaway, Stevie right. Wonder. Now, I heard yeah. you. I heard you cutting up. <laughs> and you sound, there is an unmistakable similarity that's yes. almost, almost, sur well, it's definitely surreal and it's almost creepy, if you don't mind me saying Sure, that. no, not a problem. It's almost creepy how much you sound like Luther. Well, thank you. Thank you. But, I mean, I've it heard some people yeah. that sound like Luther, My. but it is, y'all, if you hear this dude sing, <laughs> That's all I have. That's all you have. Yeah, it's the look. All you need is the look. Thank you so much. Done. Yeah. Well, the album, like I said, it it actually highlights all those greats. Nat King Cole. I even went down to to one of my favorite guys is Frank Sinatra. It's one of my favorite styles of music. But then on the second city, I deal with the with the with the vertical. I said horizontal earlier, but but the vertical relationship, and that is how I feel about God, how I feel about my life, Holly, how I feel about the direction of my purpose and, mm -hmm. and, and the love of God That's beautiful. and the love of God through me. So, and to me, it's the totality of man. One of the things I've never liked necessarily about our traditional society when it comes to religion is that most churches don't embody the whole man. They embody the image of man that they want to present to others, mm -hmm. you know, mm. which is perfect, uh, flawless. Um, right. you, know, you know, we don't talk about really what we've been delivered from. And more importantly, talk we'll never yeah. reveal what we're being delivered from. Right. You know, well, like I have a through. temper now. Right. You know, we want to talk about the fact that yeah, I did that, that so then, we keep it kind of exactly. serving. But I still hate my in-laws. Right. You know? And so you, know? you, you know, exactly. and what you're saying is you go in there yeah. a little bit uh, deeper yeah. on the on, on the CD, which is really great, guys. We have a live performance that we're going to be showing. What uh, What are you singing for us? This is uh, the tribute to Luther Vandross called "Take You Out," one of my favorite songs. I hope you really enjoy it. It's Take All right, guys. On Let's the go. Hi, Kai Am. Cause at least then I won't 
on the level with Mike and Holly. And I'm Mike. And I'm Holly. And actually, Mike, I think this is one of my favorite segments of the show. Definitely the favorite. This is the segment that we like to call Say, Say what? what? Dude, people be saying some crazy things on Instagram. And posting. And posting. Some crazy pictures. Some crazy pictures. On Instagram. Okay, like for instance, this one lady in Florida. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. She calls 911 after a McDonald's runs out of nuggets. Ridiculousness. I'm sorry, Mike, what leads up to that type of circumstance? <laughs> Has to be something like this. <clears throat> Yo, welcome to Mickey D's. How can I take your order? Yo, I need a 50 piece nugget. Oh, snap, shoot. We just ran out of those, my bad. You ain't got no nuggets? Nah, man, a dude just came in here, cleared us out for like a hundred of them joints. We got some McChickens though, like we can slice them up in little pieces for you if you want. Wait, what you trying to say? You ain't got no nuggets? Yeah, you all right, man? You, you ain't know. got no nuggets? Oh, I got an emergency! You, I need to call 911! You, you wanna beep, be okay? Beep, beep. Thank you for calling 911. What's your emergency? <laughs> Okay, it, it's gonna be okay, ma'am. I need you to calm down and tell me where you are. I don't know. I'm gonna, I don't know. Where are you? I, I need to know where you are, ma'am. What's your name? McDonald's. Your, okay, you're at McDonald's. McDonald's. Which lo, okay, which location are you at, honey? We ain't got no nuggets. I'm, so, I'm sorry. What's the emergency? I'm at McDonald's. They ain't got no nuggets. You're at McDonald's and they don't have any nuggets. Should no, it? no. How no. get off my phone? Something like that. A little something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know really who posts that or who would dial 911. <laughs> what they do that? After that, but they do. What they do that? For real. I don't understand. Dude, and so there was another picture that we saw of one of our favorite superheroes. I think the superhero is actually Usain Bolt. My personal He opinion. might be. I think it's actually Usain Bolt. So can we show that graphic? Right? Dude. Dude. Right there. That's, that's, that's what's up. Dopeness, right? Right. So how'd that go down? I don't know. I think Mike, how did that bit, happen? I think it was a little bit something like this. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, what's going on? Do you know why I stopped you? Uh, because I'm black? Do you have license and registration? This is because I'm black. No, actually, sir, it's because you were speeding. And I'm black. No, sir, you were going 458 miles an hour. And I'm black. In a 35. And I'm black. In a school zone. And I'm Black. Sir, I'm gonna have to issue you a ticket. Cause I'm black. 
<laughs> you're right. It yeah. is because you're black. I, I just I can't do the rules no, anymore. It's okay. I no, understand. I mean they tell me to do it. It's cool. And I'm, I just I can't really get around you know? it. It's and okay. It, it is because you're black though. I yeah, okay. Hug Can we out. just hug it out? Hug it out. It's good. You're Seriously. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're good. good. Day. We're good. Seven. You're right. Boom. Little That's something it. like that. Little something. They have this picture of this cat. Enough said. Show the graphic. Show the graphic. I mean, really? What is that? What, I don't really what is understand. That cat thinking? Like, what me, is that cat Holly, thinking? What is that cat saying right now? I bet that cat is thinking, look, I know that you think that this is real cute and maybe even funny, but who's going to be laughing when I confuse your face for my kitty litter? I'm going to call the SPCA. <laughs> Done. That's a wrap. That's a, that's a wrap, dude. I don't even know. But, last, like, I would be mad if I was a cat. You want to paint no, on my face? Oh, real. please. Last picture, they have this uh, adorable, terrified looking dog. Can we show that? Can we just, okay. Wow. I don't okay. really understand. This is what I'm thinking the dog is saying. So, you're going to cut off my what? <laughs> Ow. That's it. And that ends our segment. And that ends our that segment. That concludes our segment of Say what? what? We'll be right back. More on the level. Mike and Holly. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in yes, to On the you. Level with Mike and Holly. We really appreciate you. We want to thank our sponsors. We want to give a shout out to View and Talk Media. They do great live recordings. And we want to thank our special guest, Kai Kayam. He did a great job. We enjoyed Wonderful that job, performance. Kai. Yes. Yes. So tune in. Yes. Next Continue Thursday, to watch. <laughs> 8 p.m. Central. No, 8, 8 p.m. 7 Central on Ketzel.tv, <laughs> yes. the Ketzel TV network. You got it. That's awesome. What we're a team. All right. Get on the level. The Mike and Holly level. Oh, yeah. Are we doing the on the level? No, no we're going to go eat. Yeah, we're going to eat some Thanksgiving. Snap. Oh, yeah. Shahibi, I'm all over the